housing is very important for, for the animals because you want to afford them comfort, you know. Again, you want to ward them uh, off the elements of weather. It is weedy, it is sunny, or it's raining. So you just want the animals to be comfortable. Again, you just want to make sure that all the necessary facilities, such as the feed troughs, the water troughs, and where they are going to sleep, and uh, of course, the, where they can be able just to walk around, because majority of the farmers are adopting zero grazing units. So the animals should be provided everything in that uh, area where they are residing. Uh, when it comes now to housing, there are important uh, things that uh, the farmer should make sure that uh, they observe. Number one is the security of the, of, the, of the animals, and therefore it should be a place where the animals are safe, that the animals cannot be stolen because, again, you don't want to have your investment and again uh, someone comes and uh, steals your animals and goes away with, it, with them. Again, you just want to make sure that the animals have enough space for comfort. So you should not be squeezing them in too much because, again, when the issues of diseases come, it will be very disastrous and the, the diseases will spread very fast, so um, as in um, taking away the benefits you've been doing. Again, w when it comes to matters of uh, drainage, that should be considered because you are cleaning the houses and uh, you are washing the, the houses, so you make sure that they are going to a particular direction because, again, if uh, the wastes accumulate in the farm, you end up with uh, diseases such as mastitis, which uh, are not very good. So drainage into a pit, where again now you can correct and take away, should be, be considered. The topography of the area you're using, you, you should ensure that that has been observed. Also, something important to consider is uh, ventilation, because you want free flow of air so that the animals can just have enough of that. You can open up the sides and uh, raise the roof to about uh, two to three meters high uh, from the height of the animal, just to make sure that the animals have enough air to breathe uh, when they are uh, in that space. Again, um, other uh, factors to consider is uh, the positioning of the calf pens. The calf pens should be located near the main bomber, just to make sure that once the cow has been milked, you just take the milk to the calf when it it is still warm, I mean, at uh, body temperature. Again, uh, a facility like maternity should also be availed just to make sure that those for pr uh, pregnant animals which are about to calve in a week or two, you can secrete them to a quiet place whereby uh, the floor you can uh, use hay or you can all use uh, wood shavings just to make sure that it is warm so that once the calf is born, has a place where uh, it, it's uh, good for it to be there. Again, um, uh, when it comes to the construction of the feed uh, uh, troughs and the water troughs, then you should ensure that for the water trough, that if possible, you can uh, tile it. Use white tiles, that would be important, just to make sure that it's ease of cleaning. And again, the tiles help to make uh, the water still uh, cold, yeah, to maintain the, the coolness of the water, which is very important for the animals uh, to, and, uh, I mean, to prompt them to drink more or to drink whenever they can. And then again, for the feed traps, they should have a good uh, height just to make sure that as the animals are moving the feed, because they move when moving their head like that, uh, they are not like spearing the food over and therefore uh, wasting it. And then the feed traps should be in such a way that they can be washed because again, you don't want molds accumulating from the leftover feeds that are there and then they may contract a diseases all too. So, uh, and again, the, the uh, facility that, that you are building should be in such a way that it, uh, the, it is possible to access sunlight at some points uh, during the day, but again, it remains uh, uh, shaded, just to make sure that the animals are not, are not maybe frozen therein or exposed to too much sunlight. That is where now the issue of, re of re orientation coming in. Uh, in this case, we are talking about uh, where the sun is coming and where it's setting down. So you should position your, your, your bomber in such a way that it is, is uh, there is ease of doing that.